Hey guys, so today I am in Elena Besso's kitchen and she's gonna teach me how to make uh, handmade pasta. Yeah. All right, so we have our dough here, so how did this come together? Okay, so this came together because we had some flour, some egg yolks, some eggs, a little bit of salt, mixed it all together with a fork, did a ton of kneading, and then we just had it resting here for about 30 minutes okay. so that the gluten and cell structure could come together. So it doesn't sound so hard, like I could do that, right? Oh my gosh, you absolutely could. Honestly, anyone could. With I like think ingredients that are in the kitchen anyway. All, literally like the fundamental things you would have in your kitchen. Okay. Create this pasta dough. But if you wanted to buy pasta dough, you could start with just this too, Yes, right? exactly. Okay. You could buy it somewhere. Um, but what I love about making pot fresh pasta is it feels so cool to be like, oh, this dough? Yeah, mm -hmm. I made it myself. <laughs> I made it myself. And it really isn't as hard as it seems. Ooh, it smells good. It yes. already like, has like an aroma. Good, I'm happy to hear that. So once this is cut into four pieces, I'm going to take a rolling pin. Cut. And let me just move this a little. Yes, there you go. And we're gonna fix mm -hmm. There's a lot of space here in New York. <laughs> I highly recommend. And we're just going to roll it out so it becomes almost this like oblong shape. It looks like a pizza shape. Yeah, it really does. And you can see already that this gluten is wanting to pull back, which right, is yeah. good. It means that we've developed a really nice gluten structure. Are you so, looking for like a particular thinness? So basically what we want to do is we want it to be probably like a half of an inch thick. Okay. And once it ends up getting to this space, we're gonna save ourselves the trouble. We're gonna use this handy dandy pasta rolling machine. We're gonna turn our pasta maker on. We're on the lowest setting. So number one, it's the widest. And we're just gonna feed it through. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's very satisfying. Super satisfying. I guess it's more satisfying than when I just like order in on a breeze or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to do this like three times just to get it all even. You okay. know? That's really what we're looking for here is we're looking for a What nice... kind of pasta are we making? I didn't even ask. I mean, we're just making a traditional egg dough. I okay. used um, AP flour, which is just all purpose. So what anyone would have in their house. Okay. Typically, um, at places, at restaurants like Lilia, where I worked, we um, use double O flour, and what double O flour does is it just has a finer, um, it's it's more finer ground, um, and it mm -hmm. gives it a little bit more of a chew, but this, you're not really going to notice the difference, okay. unless you're like an Italian pasta maker, and you're like used to <laughs> eating fresh pasta every day, okay. it's really gonna taste pretty much the same. So now what I'm doing is I'm folding. Okay. The reason why I'm folding here is because I'm trying to make sure that the, I'm developing this structure um, that's really nice and and sturdy and gives us that mouthfeel that we're looking for okay. with fresh pasta. That bite. Exactly, the bite. And now we're just gonna go through it again. The same setting? Same setting. Okay. and then another pass through, and then we're going to progressively get smaller and smaller and smaller until we eventually reach the thickness that we're looking okay. for. Okay. I feel like I would get confused. I'd be like, yeah, it's fine, it's done, whatever. Yeah, you're like, it's cool. <laughs> Forget it. Forget about it. You have, to have a little it. bit of patience. It's easy, but you have to have patience. Yeah, but it's fun though. Invite some friends over. Have a pasta party. You have to assume that I have friends though. You have so many friends. You're so popular. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're the most popular kid I know. <laughs> Come on. Now that we've gone through this about three times, we're gonna go to a smaller setting. Okay. So I'm gonna switch it. That makes it. it thinner? Exactly. Okay. So I'll go through this once, and then I'm gonna have you hop okay. on in here. If you had tried to just jack it through at the thinnest, at the beginning, what would have happened? Oh, it would be such a mess, pasta. It would basically break apart and like shoot in all different directions. Oh, and you wouldn't fun. get a nice sheet that you're looking for. <laughs> and you'd be like, damn it. I just waited 30 minutes for this dough to rest after I hand made it. And now I've destroyed it all. Okay, your turn. turn. Okay, so we're finally at this, the point where I can't screw it up anymore. Yes, exactly. So I'm gonna hop on in and just feed it right through. Feed it right through. Right, here we go. So basically, you start by, yeah, and you want to just catch it from the bottom. Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> Give it to us again. Another time? All right, here we go. Crushing it. 
Uh. Yes. Okay, now we're going <laughs> even lower. Okay. And you want to just, as a standard rule, every time you go to a smaller setting, you want to feed it through at least three times. Okay. That's just how you're going to be able to make sure you get a consistent noodle that has the same thickness mm -hmm. throughout it. We don't want a noodle where it's thicker on one end and then super thin on the other end. I typically like going to setting number six. So if you're down, I say let's do that's it. Where I think let's go to go. six. Take it to six. Take it to six. <laughs> so Jeremy, what is your favorite kind of pasta? Um. I don't know if the pasta itself, the dish, I would say bolognese would be my favorite. Yes. What do you think bolognese goes, per, like what kind of pasta works best with that? I usually like um, like a fettuccine mm. or just a spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? Where's your favorite bolognese in the city? Oh geez. I don't really know. I don't know if I've ever found a place in the city where I'm like, yo, that's my I have a good one. Well, I feel like you need like a old school kind of red sauce place for like a good bolognese. We're going to five? Did you do three times? Uh-huh. Yeah, wait, what's a good old school red uh, sauce place? Emilio's Bellato. Okay. Ooh. Emilio Bellato is a legit old school, like been there a million years. Dad still sits out front, son's in the kitchen, mom's back there yelling yes. at people. Yes. And the best bolognese I've had. Oh my gosh, I'm going there. I'm, I'm very really scared. Oh, I'm, I'm on this. my way. No, you're doing great. Look at how good this looks. Makes me nervous. Don't be afraid. You're crushing it. You're absolutely crushing it. Do you feel confident now? You're like, oh nope. shit, pasta. This is actually a it's lot not easier as, than I it, thought. It is much easier. It still makes me nervous. Is Perfect. that it? Perfect. We're going to do one more. One more? So now if you're getting like nervous, of something that I like to do, just to make sure that I'm not mm -hmm. worried about getting my fingerprints in it too much, okay. I just flip my hand over like that, and it just kind of sits on the top of my hand. When it hand. comes out? When it comes out, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So, so once, feed it through. Yeah, you feed it through. Right there? Exactly. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. There we go. You did Look it. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. So now what we're gonna do, I mean, come on. Jeremy, <laughs> you're such a, you're just, I mean, you'd think you'd be doing this for years. So now that we have this gorge long sheet of pasta, mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of cut, unfortunately when you're making pasta, you're gonna waste a little bit of stuff. If you, something that I actually like to do to not waste pasta is, there's this um, specific name of pasta that's, of course, escaping me right now, that's kind of haphazard shaped. So it allows you to take the excess uh -huh. that you aren't gonna use in your normal pasta, like something like this. What is this weird ovular <laughs> thing? And you can cut it into random shapes and make a dish out of that. Okay. Um, so what we're doing here is we're just kind of evening everything out because when we're making our noodles, we want them to look uniform. Right. And there we go, look at this. Ooh. So you could take this, you could use this for lasagna if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, you could really use it for anything. Um, but here today, I think we're gonna do a little um, fettuccine action. I like, like it. That. Okay, great. So now the next step is switching okay. out. Another tool, okay, here we go. So this has the grooves inside mm -hmm. of the machine. So this is basically the cutting process. Okay. So this is the shaping process. This is the cutting process. Cool. So we're just gonna switch these out. You can also get a hand crank. They sell those on Amazon. Check out our Amazon affiliate page. <laughs> Throw us some, some bones over there. Pick up your sheet. Okay. You go right through. And just feed them right through. Oh. oh. We got pasta. It's so pretty. Oh, and there you look at go. that. Look at that. I like that. That was very satisfying. And you just lay it down. Okay. Here, go again. All right. It's so fun watching Jeremy cook. <laughs> Yes. 
Uh oh. One didn't work out. That's it's okay. okay. Ooh. Beautiful. So there Look you go. That. We got our pasta. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get a pot of water and we're going to add our salt. And we want the pasta water to be viciously salty. Now that the water is up to a boil, I'm going to put the pasta in. Since this is a fresh pasta, it's really only going to take two to three minutes to cook through entirely. Immediately after the pasta is done, we're going to pull it out of the water and put it into the saute pan with butter. This is the moment where we're marrying the sauce onto the pasta. What that means is we want it to stick to the noodle itself, not slide right off. What's going to allow us to do that is by taking the pasta water, and the pasta water is going to act as our glue. We take a little bit of the pasta water, put it into the pan, and we marry everything together. Flip it a few times, we're gonna add our cheese, let that melt through, and before you know it, you have a gorgeous, cheesy pasta. Here it is, the teeny pasta on the big plate. Mmm, no, That's the way big we flavor, like it. Though. Big flavor. <laughs> Small mound, big flavor. Flavor as big as the plate it's on. Okay. I'll give you this. Be honest with me. Yeah, yeah I'll be honest Don't with you. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I made this I'm too. Like, mm, yum. No, yeah. but that's what's great. You always keep it real. I try. Sorry, try before it gets cold. Okay. I'll stop talking. It. Yes, do big bite. <laughs> do it full mouth. Yes. Mmm. I like that. You mm. made fresh freaking pasta it. today. It really do taste a difference. Right? Just texture wise. Like, yeah. it just, it has more of a bite. It does. It totally does. And like, I mean, I like all the pepper in the. You like the pepper mm -hmm. and the butter and the cheese? Well, obviously I like what's the, not, the butter. What's not to like mm. with those things, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's just, it's really cool to be able to know that you can make something like this mm. in the comfort of your own home. And it really, truly, all said and done, how many ingredients was it? Eggs, oh, wow. flour, salt, um, butter, cheese, pepper. Six ingredients for this whole thing. And if you start with the pasta already made, like if you make the pasta early, yeah. and like for when you then want to cook, it did take less time than ordering in, which I normally do. So the whole cook time, really good point. The mm -hmm. whole cook time was only two to three minutes. Yeah, and even if we started with the uh, with the kitchen aid, though, yeah, we, uh -huh. yeah. when you started with that, that only took a couple minutes. The whole thing maybe fifteen to twenty. So if you make the dough ahead of time, let it rest for the day, and then come back at night. Before you know it, fresh pasta meal in minutes. I love it. Is this Rachel Ray's show? <laughs> Welcome back to 30 Minute Meals. We're your hosts, <laughs> Rachel and Ray. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm going to keep eating. Yes. Thank you for teaching me how to uh, make a very easy pasta. Thank you for coming over. And guys, if you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe. to Brunch Boys. This guy mm -hmm. works harder than any human that I know, and <laughs> he's like a big bro to me, and I, I just... I have nothing but great. And follow you everywhere too. Yeah, How do they follow, follow you? me everywhere. You can follow me on um, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. Elena Besser. This lower third here, the Jeremy will now be <laughs> inserting because I've chosen to say it. All right there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Got you. Yeah. At Elena Besser. Um, and yeah, feel free to DM me if you ever have any cooking questions. Oh, there you go. I'm your gal. Ask She'll just Elena. show up and help you cook. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give me your address, and I'll help. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. And see you later. Get out of my house now. Bye. Oh, shit. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. <laughs>